hello this is kate from anybulldog.com and i am here with sweet little daisy duke and today we are going to talk about one of the more unpleasant tasks of being a bulldog owner and that is dealing with anal gland problems so thankfully little miss daisy has not had any anal gland problems yet right miss daisy right miss daisy just tear stains. Um, but anal glands are the glands that sit right inside the anus, and um, these are little pat like pouches that hold the oils that they use to mark their territory with. And when those pouches don't um, empty all the way, they become clogged, and the oil becomes dry, and this causes their anus to um, be in pain and you as bulldogs can't reach around and deal with this problem themselves so you as their owner get to deal with it so how do we know if bulldogs have anal gland problems okay first they will try to endlessly itch their rear end now bulldogs can't turn around and get that area which is what causes this problem in the first place so you'll just see like you know they're trying to itch and scratch um they'll growl in the direction of their rear end as well and um there will be a lot of discomfort when they try to pass a bowel movement since that area is all dried up here let's get daisy can you sit down daisy since that area is all dried up and um, there'll be an extremely foul odor as well. So how do we treat anal glands? Well, first you're gonna need a glove. You'll probably wanna be outside or somewhere that's easy to clean up. And you'll probably also want um, some baby wipes. So I wouldn't jump right in and just do this if you haven't had someone show you how to do this, but it's up to you. Um, you'll have to be very gentle and I would have someone else with you to hand treats as you go along. Um, so you'll have to reach into their anus very gently with one finger and this will be uncomfortable for them as you can imagine and you will have to drain the anal gland. Um, don't be too rough because you could also cause this to bleed, which will cause infection. And then we have a whole new problem on our hand. Right, Daisy? We don't want that. So just drain it gently, slowly. Watch for blood in the stool in the next coming days. That means this procedure went wrong. <laughs> but most importantly, let's talk about prevention. First of all, make sure there's plenty of fiber in their diet. Fiber. And that they get plenty of exercise, that they have the opportunity to go out and empty those oil glands and mark their territory so they don't get clogged up. Because the problem is, they don't, when it gets clogged, it's because they haven't had the opportunity to empty their anal glands. So while this isn't a pleasant task, it just comes along with the territory of owning a bulldog and they'll thank you for it and they're the best pets ever. So honestly, it's a small sacrifice for a bulldog owner. If you have any other questions about anal gland problems or health problems in general, we have an article all about anal glands on anybulldog.com. Visit us there and like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.